Hey, 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 everyone. It is Black Women Are in the Building. Give me one moment. How y'all doing? How are y'all doing on this early Monday morning? <clears throat> so, before I begin, everything said is alleged and in my opinion and for fair use purposes only. Now, let's get into it. So, y'all, did y'all see when Mel did her TikTok live and someone called? baby boy's phone and they said hello then they started laughing now Mel is giving up 2k if anybody can crack the Scooby-Doo mystery however some of our people shout out to Up the Unicorn and a few others kind of sort of already cracked it so I'm going to give you my take on it, which is the take that I think makes sense. Okay. So first, again, everything said is a legend in my opinion and for entertainment and fair use purposes only. So we're going to start with this. You have to remember where the mystery started. Right. And where I'm going is partly cloudy was already an acquaintance of coleslaw. Partly cloudy and coleslaw were much cooler and knew each other much more than we know. Right? So follow me now. They are acquaintances. Now, supposedly, Hotel Bum Arse took Baby Boy's phone and gave it to his Bum Arse Baby Mama, right? Follow me. The Baby Mama is using that phone. And she's still keeping in contact with Partly Cloudy. I don't think her and Partly Cloudy ever stopped speaking to each other. These are my opinions. I don't think they ever stopped speaking to each other. I think they always kept in contact. And you know why I think they always kept in contact? Not only because they are acquaintances, but they have someone else in common hotel now think about this so partly cloudy and coleslaw has been in contact they stay in contact right partly cloudy still thought that coleslaw had that phone It never dawned on Partly Cloudy that, oh, she may not have the phone no more. Baby boy may have gotten his phone back. No. Partly Cloudy still thought that Coleslaw had that phone. So Partly Cloudy texts the phone with the shenanigans. Our girl, Mel, was texting it back like she was slaw. When she called the number, partly Cloudy said hello. That's partly Cloudy's voice. And she always say, fuck. That's partly Cloudy's voice. 
partly cloudy answered the phone and probably realized that she effed up and that's when she got her ass off that phone. Now, what makes me think that it is partly cloudy and slow, but what makes me think it is partly cloudy is not only the number or M I crooked letter crooked letter I crooked letter crooked letter I humpback humpback I number. Not only that, but when the trajectories of who that number belonged to was looked up, follow me now, because even with a track phone or anything else. You still have to give some type of information. The, the name was traced back to Canvas LLC, allegedly, and in my opinion. So, y'all, so y'all. These people will not stop. They are going through great lengths to try and tear our girl Mel down. But the funny thing is, all it's showing is their obsession and their jealousy and envy. That's why every last one of them, every last one of them, is in some shit that they can't get out of. So y'all, write down in the comment section who y'all think it was. But again, my guess is it's partly cloudy because partly cloudy and close coleslaw has never stopped communicating. All right, enjoy y'all day. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.